So how certain is this? There's 100% certainty of impact. Please, don't say 100%. Can we just call it a potentially significant event? Yeah. Yes. A massive fireball speeding towards Earth, promising to obliterate the planet. You guys discovered a comet? Comedy isn't exactly what comes to mind, but the new film, Don't Look Up, from Oscar-winning writer and director Adam McKay, is counting on laughter to focus audiences on a deadly serious matter. This is kind of the feel-good, feel-bad movie of the year. How did you pull that off? It's a pretty good description. We made this movie during the pandemic, before there was even a vaccine. So I think we were all in the mood to laugh because things were so grim. But at the same time, we needed to feel some other feelings as well. With the moment of impact on a diet app. So impact is when my diet ends. Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence lead a star-studded cast as two astronomers trying to sound the alarm on the comet that will soon wipe out the world. A not-so-subtle allegory for a real threat, climate change. After seeing the movie last night, something kind of resonated in me. It's how we process bad news and how it becomes a debate, how truth and facts can be distorted or politicized. This was originally, uh, you know, a metaphor for the climate crisis, and then COVID hit, and then a whole new wave of den denial of science. It was amazing to witness what was going on in real time as we were making this movie. I mean, we were sitting there trying to explain science as Fauci was doing the same thing. It was, it was a bizarre experience. You've said, Leo, you feel like it cracks the code. You also said yesterday, I think, that you were a little bit of a Debbie Downer on this issue. I mean, it's hard not to feel a little bit hopeless. If you do a film about climate change, this is, it, it's nearly impossible to get people to get a sense of urgency and hold a mirror to our culture and media and, and, and politics and all of these things. And I just felt like this was an incredible gift to be a part of a movie that encapsulated exactly what we're going through at this particular moment in time. But yeah, I am a bit of a Debbie Downer because the clock is absolutely ticking. How big is this thing going? I can't destroy my ex-wife's house. Is that possible? <laughs> There's a 100% chance that we're all going to die. Jennifer, your role is the first who gets to really just say, this is insanity. Did that just feel great? Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was. it's just kind of unleashing that helplessness that I feel as um, a citizen and a human on the planet. It was also so poignant that all of the ire kind of landed squarely on, on her shoulders because she was saying something that people didn't want to hear. During filming, before she was pregnant, Lawrence took her approach of getting into character to a new high. Before the movie started, there was a lot more in the script. Kate DiBiaschi was high pretty much the whole, the whole time. We thought if there was a scene where I wasn't talking, it could be funny to like actually just like see that kind of just like glassy stare. There was one scene where she definitely was like, am I gonna speak tonight? I was like, no, you're not. She's like, I'm gonna try it because it does fit the character. And the whole night I was so tempted to go on the mic and say, hey, let's improvise a monologue. <laughs> and I realized how mean it would be and I did not do it. Thank you for not doing it. Out of yeah. love and respect for Miss Thank Lawrence. you for not, yeah. yeah. It would have been just oh my god sobering oh i would yeah yeah sobering and she was next to meryl streep i was too, next which... to meryl streep what I was it like so. to be with meryl streep because i know she's an idol of everyone's her her improvisation was incredible too you know shooting this during COVID and having the mind of adam mckay sort of speak through a loudspeaker and we were this sort of nerdy scientist just trying to react to this onslaught of different directions that the scenes would go at any given time because he really created an atmosphere where anything goes. Not a lot of rehearsal, just get into the room and go at it. And, and of course, Meryl was incredible, incredible to work with. There will be magnitude 10 or 11 earthquakes. You're, you're breathing weird. It's, it's, uh, it's making me uncomfortable. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to articulate the science. I know, but it's like so stressful. I, like I heard Jonah Hill ad-libbed a lot of those lines. Oh, yeah. There was one day that was just solely dedicated to him 
um, insulting me. I'm sorry, who is she? Are you her son? I'm chief of staff boy with the dragon tattoo, so I'm doing fine. And that was tough, but it was one of the greatest days of my life. I heard you um, inhaled your nose ring a few yeah, times. Yeah, the stud was a magnet, and poor Leo had to witness a couple <laughs> times of me making eye contact with you while I got it out of my throat. Yeah, <laughs> it did happen a couple times, didn't it? And I never understood what the hell was going on. You had the premiere. How did the ending go over? I'm not giving anything away, because you'll kill me. I think it was incredibly emotional, and, you know, had this movie had a different ending, it wouldn't be the story that it is. And we're not going to give that away, but it needed to have this, this ending. It needed to, it, it's a wake-up call. It's an alarm clock. And, it's not um, a Hollywood ending. No, it's not. If it didn't have that ending, there was no way we were going to be a part of it. Well, Adam McKay actually wrote that script before the pandemic. But then they had to pause everything. And then once he saw reality and he went back to the script, he said, this is not crazy enough. Wow. It has to be even crazier to make it funny because reality has just become true. so crazy. Right. The movie's called Don't Look Up. It's in theaters today. You can catch it on Netflix if you want to stream it starting on Christmas Eve. And even though the subject is very serious, it is truly hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You said it was pretty yeah. funny. Uh, Savannah, we're going to let you, you go. Uh, we know you have to get back to the memorial and say goodbye to your personal friend and one of America's uh, great statesmen. So uh, All be the well. Best, Savannah. Be well, my friend. Good luck this morning. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.